Hi Sagittarius, it is CJ from CJ Soul Messages. Thanks for joining me here today. I will be doing your March General 2022 reading. <laughs> I almost paused on the 2022. Um, I hope you're doing really great. Thank you for all your subs, likes, and comments. I truly appreciate each of you. So let's see what is going to be happening potentially for you for the month of March. I will open up by doing a Celtic cross and clarify if we need, and then I will let you guys go. So, all right, Spirit, what do we have for Sagittarius, our beautiful fire sign? All right, two cards have just flipped out. For the month of March, wow, okay, interesting. Um, this also can apply to your sun, your moon, your rising, and your Venus, as well as any cross watchers. Won't resonate with everyone, so please just take what does. All right, what else do we have here for Sagittarius? What's going on? I think we're ready here. Okay, and I'll go through the cards once we pull them all. Hopefully you can see them, and I'll show them up in the card, but just try and get the placement here. Okay, let's begin. So Sagittarius, we have opened up with, as I said, this is a Celtic cross. So the card, two cards that came out, first of all, the first card was Three of Cups. So this is a card that is representing the present, the present moment, really. Three of Cups, beautiful energy. This is, um, could be you and two other people, uh, but it is about celebrating, coming together, having a very close relationship. Could be, you know, friends. Um, but it is about, I almost want to say like having good times, right? Like parting, like, you know, if you look, there's three cups and they're all cheer, cheering together. Uh, it's a unified energy and it is um, one that is, you can almost feel the energy of like uh, kind of a soul tribe kind of energy. Um, but it is really everyone, three people coming together and um, celebrating your successes, celebrating each other, who you are. Challenge position is the Seven of Swords. Uh, so there's a bit of an indication here, and this reading could be for career, it can be for your love, it can be for family, finances. You know it's gonna apply to everyone a little bit differently here. Um, but we, are, we have the Seven of Swords showing up, and that is a challenge position. And the energy of the Seven of Swords is kind of indicating here that their main, everything in this Three of Cups situation uh, it may not be exactly as you think it is because Seven of Swords is a, usually indicating that there is a bit of trickery going on. There might be a little bit of, um, well, it can mean theft, but I'm picking up more on the energy that you are maybe not seeing the other person or persons in this reading uh, as accurately as they are. Um, there's a feeling of getting, something's hidden here. Uh, I, I'm actually just gonna pull a, I wanna pull an extra card on this right now. I'm gonna use my um, traditional tarot cards. Let's see what we can get here. Before we go any further, because I just wanna see what this is about. All right. Let's get a clarifier on the Seven of Swords over the Three of Cups, please. Give me anything else on this. Okay, thank you. Seven, oh, seven of cups. All right. If this is about work, four of swords, um, if this is about a career situation, you may be in a place where you feel like it's pretty har harmonious. It's pretty good. It's, it, you know, a lot of good times, happy times, all that kind of stuff. The thing is, is that it feels like there is someone that is not actually really being 100% truthful. Uh, there's someone that is holding something back here. Um, perhaps it is, it could be a boss, it could be a coworker. Um, if this is career-wise, it could also be, you know, if this is about love, it could be someone really not showing you them their whole true self. Um, and they might be holding something back because it is a card of deception. Um, when I asked for clar to clarify that, we got the Seven of Cups. 
uh, over top of the Seven of Swords. So two sevens here. Seven of Cups is the energy of a lot of opportunities, a lot of options, but um, it can be a very positive card, but in this way, I'm feeling it more of a, if this is about a work, I feel like if you feel like you are really important at wherever you're working, um, there might be someone that is also testing the water with other potential employees, for example. So it might be you and two other people and you might think that, okay, this is how it's going to work. Meanwhile, they're still receiving a whole bunch of resumes for your job, that kind of energy. If it is about love, it feels very much more like um, someone might be saying that they're really committed to you in this situation. It's a three of cups, so I'm not really getting, um, it's just odd because we have the lovers above it. So highly doubt you're in a love relationship with two other people. I don't know. Um, take it as it flows if it does. Uh, but there's a little bit of deception going on because they might be still kind of playing the field. I'll leave it like that. Um, so it feels like there needs to be some clarity that's going to be happening here. Uh, the cards that are coming out here, it does feel like there's a bit of mental anguish going on this month in March. I, um, I have to tell you the truth, so don't shoot the messenger here. When I look at what is representing what you're aware of, the, the lovers shows up. That's Gemini's card. Um, you are feeling that there is a partnership. There is a connection. There is a, you know, committed love relationship, if that is how this is applying to your story, your life. Um, the lover's card used to be known as a choice. But, you know, on its own, the lover's card is a beautifully harmonized loving romantic relationship um, can be two partners that are running a business together they're very equal they're very um, balanced with one another there it's like the yin and the yang kind of energy kind of coming together here um, and it is normally very positive I feel like that is how you're seeing this situation whether it's with the love interest or it's about a work relationship um, that's how you're seeing it, but there's something else going on underneath it um, that is not exactly as harmonious as your conscious is perceiving it. When we look at your subconscious, we have the five of coins. It's like some part of your inner self, your intuition, your gut, whatever you want to call it, is almost sensing it, is almost sensing that there's something that is not exactly 100% authentic. Um, five of coins is that energy of can be poverty um, but it's more of feeling like left out left alone feeling abandoned not feeling worthy um, and it's kind of a lower vibing energy that's what your subconscious is indicating here so it's completely the opposite of the lovers card which I find quite fascinating here so we're gonna have to dive in a little deeper here Looking at the past, it's like the Empress is representing your past. It's, it's this energy of abundance and riches and love and nurturing and really beautiful kind of vibe going on. This is how it felt somewhere in your past. Again, career or love. Um, this is what it was like. This is how you felt it was going to be for always. But something has changed here. Uh, something has changed that it, there's some truth that is not coming completely out is someone checking out the other options if you're in a love relationship because three of cups doesn't have to mean three other people it is just the energy of you know celebrating and having fun times together um, and supporting one another but having the seven of swords on top of that is definitely indicating that someone is not being truthful here and that person whoever that is um, could be you uh, it, that is not being truthful you're you or the other person is dreaming of all these other options other people maybe um, you know oh well maybe I don't want to stay in this relationship because I could have a b c d e f and g um, that kind of energy so there's going to be a need for some clarity, but we'll continue. Your future is represented by justice. That's Libra's card. So as you move into the future, it seems as if justice actually prevails. Uh, the truth, the sword, uh, the sword of truth actually exposes whatever is being 
hidden, whatever is being deceived, whatever truth is not full. Um, because I, I'm just picking up on some kind of low um, energy that is feeling a little sneaky, um, a little cagey in it. Advice from Spirit is the Six of Coins. Now, Six of Coins is a beautiful energy. This is a nice balance, equal give and take. Um, so as I've heard the advice, it's kind of like Spirit is coming through to say, to let you know that you need to be looking for exactly what you put out you should be receiving. And that is what is going to bring in a harmonious kind of partnership relationship. But when we look at the outside influence here, we have the Queen of Swords. So Queen of Swords is a, you know, Swords is our, our mental energy. It's our logic, communication, our thoughts. Queen of Swords, she's a tough girl. Like she's um, a tough energy. She doesn't tolerate any kind of shit. And she will use the Sword of Truth to uh, really kind of rip open what is false. So it feels like there's some kind of energy that is either around you or that you are going to need to become um, to shine the light of truth onto this, this kind of, like, like, like I said, deceptive energy here. I'm going to pull some clarifiers so we can get a little deeper into this, but when hopes and fears, page of swords. Okay. So it's almost like, It's almost like you know that you're going to receive some kind of message here that is going to enlighten you onto what the deception is. Pages are usually messengers. They definitely can be. Um, and the pa But the Page of Swords also is like um, getting a new start in a new way of thinking. It's a clarity that is, is beginning. Uh, Page of Swords is telling me right now that I feel like you're going to get some kind of communication that is going to really kind of change the way you're seeing things, the way you are viewing a situation here, the situation that's at the heart of the matter here. The outcome is the two of swords. So now you have this outcome of, like you've got a lot of swords here. Two of outcome is like you're not sure what to do. It's like you got the blindfold on. It's kind of a stagnant energy because it's between your head and your heart. And the, the blindfold is representing the energy of not sure of which way to follow, what way to go. Um, do you follow your head? Do you follow your heart? So let's get some more clarity. But I do want to talk about what's on the bottom of the deck here. Um, the bottom of the deck is strength. It's a fellow fire sign of yours. That's Leo's. So it is indicating that you are going to have the strength and, you know, the courage and, you know, the ability to handle the situation the best way you possibly can. Um, but you are really going to have to rely on your ability, Sag, to uh, really rip the blindfold off so that you can see things in the truth. Um, and on the bottom of the deck over here, when I was clarifying, it is Four of Swords indicating that there has been a deception, there has been lies, there has been false promises, and now there's this need that you have to take a break, that you need to have a little bit of healing time, a little bit of regrouping time um, to gather your strength back up here. Um, wow, I'm just, this is just very interesting. I'm going to go in with my um, Light Sears deck and see if we can get a little bit more of what's going on here. You know, sometimes we can have a sixth sense of something that's going on behind the scenes. But if we know it's going to kind of shake up our world, sometimes we don't actually poke at it because, well, it can be difficult to deal with the truth. And sometimes it's easier to live with what we can only um, take in at that moment. You know, like it, it, sometimes it's very hard to see the truth, especially if it's involving another person that we um, put a lot of trust in. So let, give me a moment. I'm just going to shuffle the deck here and um, we'll dive a little deeper. I am not really getting any energy from my spirits of whether this is love or whether this is business. I think it could be both. Um, 
you know? Two different storylines coming through here. But the energy is still remaining that I feel like there's a little, there's some lies going on. There's some deception going on. And um, you're going to have to dive in kind of a little deeper to actually allow the balance to come through. I mean, I do feel like justice is on your side in this situation. Okay, let's get a clarifier on the, the lovers, please. You know, with four of swords showing up underneath the deck, that is indicating that it follows the three of swords, right? And three of swords is complete betrayal. It's that broken heart with the three swords in it. This one, thank you. Okay, king of cups, that's clarifying the lovers. Well, you're a fire sign, so you might be dealing with a water sign, Cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio. Um, that is clarifying the lovers, the King of Cups. So this is indicating that there is uh, there is an emotional connection here, and there is an emotional um, there was or is at this moment some belief that you feel safe in uh, in this energy because the King of Cups is protective, uh, loyal, loving trustworthy and um, emotions are always very balanced here so that is clarifying the lovers so perhaps you have someone in your life that is your lover um, you know a deep relationship and they bring you a lot of calmness in this situation that could very well be too um, and maybe the this is in the, I'm gonna pull another clarifier here I have to I need to know if this is more about career or not um, let's see. Ooh, can you clarify again the present? The sun shows up. That's Leo's card. Another pickle. Hermit underneath. All right, Spirit, what is going on here for our Sagittarius? Okay. 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 I'm getting it a little bit here. All right. So, geez, we haven't even gotten really, well, we kind of have gotten over here. <clears throat> Sad, you must have someone around you that really calms you and that helps keep you balanced. And, you know, you're a pretty chill energy. You know, you're very spontaneous and adventurous, but you're very determined. And, and um, you know, you're pretty calm. And uh, the Sadgies I know are pretty, pretty chill. They don't usually go too, too off course. You are the temperance card. Um, <coughs> So maybe you have someone around you that really keeps you grounded. <clears throat> um, and maybe it is your partner, your lover. Um, and But there's like this indication in your gut, in your consciousness, that you're worried about some kind of, uh, some kind of poverty energy. Like maybe you're worried about finances and it's just, it's under your belly a lot and you just kind of can't really shake it, but yet you're not really sure of it. Um, this situation in the present is the one that is kind of confusing me a little bit because the Three of Cups is that celebrating. Then we have the Seven of Swords, which is indicating some kind of deception going on. Something is not 100% um, balanced here. The Seven of Swords. Now, unless it is you, you're maybe not sure of which direction you are going in, and you might actually be the Seven of Swords yourself, um, keeping yourself uh, not completely giving 100% to this relationship. Um, because maybe past hurts, past wounds, all of that kind of stuff. Maybe there's been arguing, etc. cetera. Um, and maybe you have then been, uh, okay, uh, you've been wondering what your options are. Should you stay? Should you go? Is there something better out there? All of that kind of stuff. Um, but the sun shows up to say that you are going to feel um, good. You are going to feel free. You are going to make this connection um, of love coming through. God, this is very confusing. I don't even know. We have the hermit underneath the deck. Virgo's card. So it's like indicating that you need to really actually go inward. Wow. You need to really go inward and get some enlightenment here on this situation. Because it feels like you're confused. You're confused about something. Love could be. Um, maybe you're confused about your career as well. 
Um, but there's something here that feels kind of ick. But then the sun comes out to say, you're free. You're, you, you've got your freedom. You've got the uh, joy. You've got the abundance. Um, it's all right there. So perhaps you're just not able to see that at this moment, that this relationship is actually a really good relationship. And maybe the deception that I was feeling is more about you deceiving that, deceiving yourself that it's not as good as it actually is. Um, and hence why you need to maybe see inward. You need to go inward and connect with your higher wisdom to actually see the truth. Whatever it is, it is leading to a balance, so because the scales are showing up. Um, and so there does feel like there's this recentering happening. We also have the tower underneath, which is everything crumbling. Um, new, a new foundation needing to be built. So perhaps that is a situation for you. Um, I'm going to go a little more into Bear with me here um, because there's a lot of energy going on. I want to go into this Two of Swords as the outcome because that's still indicating that you're struggling with making a decision, which doesn't really go with the Sun. So let's see, what can we get out of the Two of Swords here for Sagittarius? Now you're going to need your strength. You've got the Four of Swords that's indicating that there's been a lot of stuff going on that has caused you to feel exhausted, uh, to feel the need to heal a bit. Um, but you have the Empress representing your past. So there was at one point things being really abundant and you're feeling really safe. Jeez, we got two of wands clarifying the two of swords. Sag, you don't know which way to go. You don't know which direction to head in here. Four of Pentacles is on the bottom. Okay, Sag, I feel like the month of March is feeling like you are, you're very confused. Um, and it, there's such a need for you to get clarity, but I, I'm wondering, is even clarity gonna help you get out of this? Let's continue, let's go deeper, let's go deeper, Spirit. Please keep clarifying the Two of Swords and the Two of Wands for Sagittarius. It's like you want things to be balanced. You want there to be a harm, harmony here. Um, so then why is this decision so hard? What is the struggle? Okay, that's a hell of a lot of cards, but I gotta take it because we have the Ten of Pentacles on the bottom of the deck. All right, what do we have? Nine of Swords, Ten of Cups, Five of Wands, Ten of Wands. Okay. <clears throat> All right, Sag, something is going on here. Um, business, love, put it where it is, where it fits. But you're struggling to make some kind of decision here. And it feels like a pretty big decision because you've got a lot of, you got, you know, major arcana. You've got the sun, you've got justice, you've got the lovers. Um, then we get the Nine of Swords. So there's some, there's, it's, that's stress. That's not being able to sleep. That is losing sleep. It is just feeling completely devastated and worrying constantly. The next card that came out was a Ten of Cups. So this is indicating perhaps this is about a love relationship. And maybe you're just not happy anymore. Maybe your partner isn't happy anymore. At one time you were happy. Um, there's been a lot of arguments. There's been a lot of conflict. Five of Wands. That is, you know, drama competition, fighting, arguing, yelling, not seeing eye to eye, not even hearing each other. And then we get the Ten of Wands, which is getting to a point where you just drop it all and you walk away. You or the other person is walking away here, saying enough, I can't do this anymore. It isn't working anymore. It isn't, it isn't good for anyone here. Um, either that or you're deciding to drop all drop all the baggage of what ifs you know the the um, maybe you're deciding to get some clarity and make a decision and stick with this relationship um, and it's maybe it's meant to be or you need to work at it because you are wanting the ten of Pentacles which is the happy home happy family life um, and having a lot of money so I just feel like this month is a big month for you because there's like so much wishy-washy energy and it is I I'm not gonna lie I am 
a bit confused on what is happening for you because it's like there's really positive things in your life, in your world, but there is this poverty, this, this negative, negative energy hanging around and it feels very almost poisonous to whatever relationship this is revolving in. Um, man, because this is positive, but then it goes sneaky and lying, like lying. Are you lying to yourself that it's not as good as it is? Um, is the other person um, not happy and they're starting to think of their options, you know? But then the sun shows up. So it's like the sun is that freedom and that um, just, again, the happy card in the deck. Wow, where do I need to go here? Um, this is going to be a long read, I feel, because I want to bring more clarity. Underneath the Four of Swords, we have the Two of Cups. Two of Cups is two people coming together and loving each other. Then we have the Page of Wands, which is a new direction of passion, high priestess, intuition. Wow. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna go into my moonology deck. I, I'm gonna I'm gonna pull something here and see. Something is coming to a close. A way of thinking, a way of behaving, a way of um, yeah, a way of thinking, a way of behaving, or even physically walking away. Okay. That's how I'm going to wrap this, this reading up because what do we have under here? Under strength, we've got ace of coins. So new start can be a windfall. And then we've got ace of wands, new passionate beginning. Wow. And then we have the hangman. So look, Sag, there is a um, decision you are needing to make this month. And um, it feels like it's one of a struggle for you. You're not sure which way to go. The advice from spirit is the six of coins. It's about finding that equal balance. So whatever makes you feel balanced, whatever makes you feel like what you are putting out, you are receiving, that is the choice to make. Whatever that means. If that means you stay, then, then you gotta stay and you gotta drop the burdens of the past, the burdens of the arguing, the burdens of, you know, um, negative, negative thoughts, negative words, etc. Uh, if you're gonna go, then you need to you, then you need to go, then make that decision. But this feels like a struggle read here. All right, let's get one card here or uh, for Sag regarding this reading. What is it? It's time to take action. New moon in Aries. See this and that's what it is. It's almost like there's this energy here where I don't feel like you know exactly what it is that you want. I mean, heart of hearts, I think you want a happy connection, a loving connection, um, a beautiful one, and one where you are not, um, there's not the struggles, there's not the arguments, there's not this combative kind of um, energy. But that's going to take some work. Bottom of the deck is you are good enough, full moon in Virgo. So... Maybe you're feeling you're not worth, um, you know, the Ten of Pentacles or the Ten of Cups. Things get in our way and sometimes it can really change our perception of our own self. And it can also change the perception of the relationships. All right, let's get a Wisdom of the Oracle. Either way, this feels like a month that, you know, you just got to... Um, Try to get as clear as you can of what it is that you are wanting so that the scales can be balanced and so that a decision can be made. I mean, these are a lot of cards I'm, I'm pulling here. And this just feels very, it does feel heavy. Okay. Loyal hearts. Wow. Loyal heart has come out. So, Sag, if this is about a love relationship, whoever, whoever is the king of cups here for you, because it doesn't have to be a water sign, but whoever is representing that energy, they have a loyal heart to you. And, you know, that is with the lover's card. And I feel like you have a loyal heart to them. So what is the problem here? 
is it the outside world that has gotten in the way and has gotten things very confused and has just been a lot of burdens to carry? Bottom of the deck is higher power. So higher power is trusting the universe, trusting the divine. A leg up, helping one another, helping, working together, coming together to really raise each other up instead of, you know, feeling left out, feeling like there's always drama and arguments and never being able to understand each other. I mean, if you can do that and that is what you are wanting, then, you know, I think things will... <coughs> Things will regulate here. <coughs> oh my gosh, excuse me. But you just got to really kind of figure out what it is that you want. And this feels like the month. I don't think you're going to get the answers all at once. Uh, just, you got to just kind of dive in what you, where you want to be, what you want to do, who you want to be with, um, and what is really going to make you happy. Because um, there's a lot of clarif There's cards. One, two, three four, five, we have five sword cards in this reading. So it's very indicative of your mind might be feeling a little muddled or your heart might be feeling a little bit muddled. I want to, I'm, you know what, because it's a, uh, it feels like a love reading, I'm going to pull one of my um, romance angel cards. All right, let's just see if anything else can come out. Give us a little bit more clarity. Thank you. Reconciliation. Okay. All right. That makes sense. And love yourself first. Okay. So love yourself first. That goes... Can, can, let me try and hold it. Sorry. Holding it with my left hand. Love yourself first goes with this. You know, you are good enough. Um, your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive. See, this is what I'm feeling. It's just been... Um, this is a... It's a, a lot of energy in this reading. I don't know what's been going on in the past. It looks like you guys had, if this is love, it looks like there was a really nice relationship going on, but something has come along and really thrown you off course. Um, but I have to say, it feels like it's worth trying to solve. It feels like it's worth trying to um, bring the balance back in, the fairness in. I mean, because we do have the king or the ten of pentacles waiting here. And it, yeah, it's going to take work with the strength for both parties. Courage, strength, really opening up and being vulnerable again. Because um, I'm feeling like there's been a lot of non-vulnerable with the Seven of Swords, you know, and the Seven of Cups. It feels like that is kind of like no one really has known where, you're, where the place, where, where your place is in the relationship and where the other person's place is. But the card that came out is Reconciliation. So it says someone from your past is returning to your life. So... Maybe you've been apart from whoever this is, but there is, um, you know, if it's meant for you, it will never pass you by. Uh, so maybe someone is going to be coming back and seeing if you can give it another try. And maybe that is why you're hesitating. Maybe that is why you're like, you're not sure which, what to pick because you were hurt. You had to take time out. You've lost sleep. You know, you thought it was a great relationship. Obviously there's a lot of fighting, a lot of baggage, a lot of shit going on um you know there might have been the idea that someone was deceiving the other person i'm actually not really picking up on that so much as i am feeling like that was more of a thought um <clears throat> or you know you or the other person might be deceiving themselves as far as their connection um if you are wanting this then there is the opportunity to reconcile and um bring it back to you know this beautiful, abundant, nurturing, loving relationship, if you want that, right? Loyal heart came out, so again, and higher power. So it is somewhat kind of divinely orchestrated here, but it's still up to you. Everyone has free will to choose what they want to choose. So I, I just feel like you need to... Um, Try and get as clear as you can. This might not even resolve itself in the month of March. But that is what I have for you, Sag. So, wow. Um, sending you a lot of good vibes, big hugs, and um, try and just work through what, if you can figure out what it is that you want, then follow that. What feels best to you? What feels balanced? Okay? Because we do have a lot of balance cards here. 
All right, Sag, I'm going to leave it at that. Wow, let me know if this resonates at all because this is a lot of energy. So, um, but I wish you, well, I really do, love and light to you and many, many blessings. Do what feels best for you, okay? And remember, you are good enough. You are loved. Take care.